Make that big boss less special It ain't no game, but they say I'm Welcome to the second level What's up guys, welcome back to Level 2 Bargain Basement, episode 8, I think we got it wrong last time, I believe eight, this is 8. For sure. Um, my name is Keegan, I'm one half Level 2 Gamers, hey I know Tom, the other half Level 2 Gamers. What's going on? Uh, it's nothing much, I was going to say, uh, Bargain Basement is your weekly show where we talk about news, new releases, sales, games, and some gameplay footage, kind of mm-hmm. everything at once. A little uh, bit of everything. Happens every Thursday, same time. Same place, um, and obviously if you're watching, you were probably there, unless we got posted somewhere else, which if you are watching somewhere else, let us know, because that'd be kind of cool. Yeah. Um, but anyways, let's start with the news, as we always do, sure. um, and as you know, last week, we had a lot of Star Wars news. Mm, guess what, very Star Wars guess what I'm going to start with? Um, Star Wars news. Guessing Star Wars, yeah. Uh, so Star Wars Battlefront 2 will have dedicated servers, deluxe edition content can be unlocked by playing, and more. Good. That's good. That's, so far, that's all that's good news. news. That's yeah. all good news. Um, we so, talked uh, recently about the downfall of For Honor because it's on that person-to-person. Yeah, uh, that's, so. and there's no way you could do that with the battles. They have the 40, the 20v20, 40-person. Yeah, that, that wouldn't happen. Um, but design director Dennis Brunvall, sorry if I butchered your name, uh, confirmed on Twitter via GameSpot that the game will indeed have dedicated servers the same way every DICE game has up to this point. It's hardly surprising, but because how very few publishers invest in dedicated servers, fans are always worried DICE games will be next to move away from the tech. Still there. One aspect for the game or from the first game that won't be returning is star cards. Thank the Lord. They were so dumb. They were probably my least... Do you know what star cards are? I don't think I played it enough. No. So what star cards are essentially are... There are cards that you can choose, and you had to buy them to be able to have that ability. So a grenade, you had to buy a grenade, and then the grenade would upgrade every so often. And You buy it with real money or in-game money? In-game money. Okay. But I just, I didn't like the concept of it, because um, I'd rather have, like, the pickups on the map. So, like, say midway, so one of the complaints I had was midway through a map, say I had a thermal detonator, which would explode on impact. Mm. Say I wanted a mine or a, a something where... When you walked past it, it would detonate. Mm. I couldn't change that mid-game. I was locked to those cards I already had, and if I forgot to change them, I couldn't change them at all until the match was over. Gotcha. Which sucks, because depending on how the flow of a match goes, you want to be able to go in and switch those out. Yeah, there's definitely times when you're getting overwhelmed with something and you have a countermeasure to it that you need to pull out, yeah. So, I'm excited about that. Um, Brunel says the new class system won't be quite quite off the same level of freedom but each class will still be drastically customizable which is always good so they were talking about before how you had the uh you have the classes now versus before you did not Mm -hmm. so i they leaked i can't remember what they were but there's four classes that you Mm -hmm. can play as which i remember they had to get rid of these they're part of the uh collectors or deluxe edition i suppose yeah um reloading weapons the original battlefront was entirely based on cooldowns and overheating mechanics which i liked because they're lasers I was yeah I I was okay with that surprisingly but Battlefront 2 will expand that to also include some traditional reloading according to Brunel though he didn't elaborate further so I'm guessing Hmm. if gun well I guess no gun in Star Wars uses bullets but we'll see not that I can remember there's plenty of like laser pistols and stuff like that yeah but yeah do you just reload like the plasma (laughs) who knows (laughs) Uh, And finally, designer Christian Johansson confirmed that content included in the Deluxe Edition will not be exclusive to it and can actually be unlocked in-game by playing, which is... That's what I asked for. Good and bad. Uh, It's good for those of us who don't buy the Deluxe Edition. It's bad if you buy the Deluxe Edition. I guess you just get it early. You're paying to get it early. um, Yeah, you're paying for the privilege of getting that stuff early. I mean, it's a bad Deluxe Edition to buy, um, mm-hmm. If you can unlock it in the game, it, all, it, also it depends on how far down the road. Editions, it also depends okay. on how long down the road it's going to take. And remember, to they're it. still getting the game early and all that other shit that they're getting with it. So it's uh, if you're pre-ordering it and everything. So yeah, I um, <clears throat> I that's what I wanted when we discussed this last week. I said, you know, as long as I can get it by regular means, I'll be happy. And they've announced that you can, so I'm yep. cool with that. Uh, so far, like I said, this is all good news. Mm-hmm. And Star Wars Battlefront Two comes out on November seventeenth on PS4, PC, and Xbox One. Just to keep the tradition going of last week. <laughs> uh, by the way, it's November seventeenth on PC, PS4, and Xbox One. There you go. There you go. Moving on to other news. No, oh, I don't want to Star Wars. I don't want to subscribe to a newsletter, good old GameSpot. Uh, Sniper Ghost Warrior 3 takes almost five minutes to load on PS4. To load what? The game. Okay. To load. You mean just like the first time you turn it on or like every time you turn it on? To load the game. Okay. To get into the game. 
Okay. Five minutes. That's a lot of time. That reminds me of XCOM 2. It was awful. Every time you died in XCOM 2, you'd have to sit there for five to seven minutes, I think. So, Eurogamer uh, has put together a video, which on it's on GameSpot's website below, illustrating just how long it takes to go from the main menu to the in-game action on PS4. Okay, this, it compares this to a particular instance of, wait, that takes four minutes and 50 seconds against the amount of time needed to do other things, such as speedrun Gone Home and complete a race in Mario Kart, <laughs> Mario Kart Deluxe 8. So you can speedrun Gone Home, or you can finish Mario Kart I Race really, in the same time. I really hate that. Like, I, there has to, I, I know they have ways to make that better because, like, Dark Souls, for example, improved on their loading times. and Or was it? No, it wasn't Dark Souls, was it? It was the other one. Bloodborne. So, thank you. Um, but, so I know they can fix it. And it, even with, like, games, like I said, like XCOM 2, I, I, one of the things, sadly, that I remember most about that game, even though I really enjoyed it, was the fact that every single time you died and reloaded, you were sat there for five minutes. Like I, it was like, okay, get out Facebook, you know, mm-hmm. get out Reddit or whatever, and start scrolling around. It That's was how I feel about annoying. felt about Just Cause. Right. Same thing because yeah, Just Cause loaded too, in yeah. and then loaded into the server. Um, speaking with yeah. Gamespot, CI Games, the creator of it, uh, acknowledged that the long initial loading time, a knowledge along long initial loading times, but also said this approach allowed to shorten any loading times during the missions, respawns, fast travel to a minimum. It estimates that fast traveling takes 4 to 15 seconds, loading from last checkpoint takes 15 to 30 seconds, and restarting a mission takes 25 second seconds. Ultimately, we feel this inconvenience is rewarded with a comfortable experience once the game is loaded. Hmm. You could do better. Yeah. Sorry. So... I mean, don't get me wrong. I appreciate that they're trying to at least give a reason for it uh, rather than just ignoring it. But at the same time, uh, there's a million and one games that don't have that problem. So yes. there's clearly something about the game that needs to be optimized. We don't know how the game performs on PC or Xbox One. Ghost Warrior 3 launches on all three platforms April 25th, which is the day we're recording. Yeah. So we don't have the information yet. So we should, should soon know how the PS4 compares to those platforms. It'll be interesting to see if it's a PS4 thing or if it's a... Yeah, I wonder if it loads any faster thing. on a pro and things like that. You know, yeah. You never know. Here's one you're excited about. Mm. Friday the 13th is a Friday, and it's on the 13th. And it's a game now that's going to launch in May, single player coming later. So it sounds like it's multiplayer first. Love that there's second. a single player, as usual. Mm-hmm. Um, I don't really know how they're going to pull up a single player in that game, considering the dynamics of how the game actually works. It's a lot like uh, like Evolve or whatever. Mm-hmm. The one thing that bothers me about that game is the fact that I really, 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 really hope it doesn't go the way of Evolve in the fact that as soon it's as gonna the die. fireplace dries up, you're done. Yeah. I think that the fact that it's a franchise... And it's a popular franchise, and there's a lot of horror fans out there. It means that it's very likely it will survive a lot longer than Evolve. Uh, but it has to be good. Yeah. So I'm kind of sad Friday the 13th doesn't release on Friday the 13th, by the way. Yeah, a little bit. <laughs> I mean, but I'm kind of like, I'm tentatively excited, as with most things. But I'm kind of like, I'm also cautiously optimistic. Mm-hmm. I, I think it... I think it will be okay. I don't think it'll be everything I ever wanted and dreamed, but at the same time, um, I know that they've worked a lot with the people that made the original movies as far as like sound and things like that. So I'm, uh, I'm kind of, yeah, I'm, I'm looking forward to it. We'll see what happens. So you excited for it? Would you play it? I don't it's know. It's a horror game, but it's I not like know. traditional horror, really. No, it's not like it's Friday the Thirteenth. I don't care. Scary. I don't. I don't care about Friday the Thirteenth at all, though. I mean, that's the thing is the I don't movie. care about. The, I don't care about the franchise. But do you like the idea? Of having like one sort of semi supernatural entity and then other, because no. you're a big multiplayer fan. So, like, Evolve never did anything for me either. Fair enough. So, Fair enough. Um, the blurb here says after being delayed to 2017, the Kickstarter funded game Friday the 13th finally has a release date May 26th for PS4, Xbox One, and PC. Digital price of 40 bucks. At launch, only multiplayer will be available one versus seven asymmetric. It's a nice, I've never actually seen that word in text, I don't think. I've said it before. A symmetric yeah. multiplayer game sees seven camp counselors trying to survive against one person playing as mass killer Jason Voorhees. There are three maps, including uh, Camp Crystal Lake. Three? Yes, three maps. Ugh. Camp Crystal Lake, Higgins Haven, and Pack- Packanac Lodge. Did I say that right? I'm guessing Packanac. Packanac. Uh, Friday the 13th, the game's single player will be added as a free update later this summer. Yeah, it really has to be good. Crystal Lake. So, fun fact, Scooby-Doo, uh, the latest one. Can't remember the name of it the is. Movie or? No, the TV show. Okay. Uh, Mystery Incorporated had mm. Camp Crystal Lake. That makes more sense of why it was called that now. Mm. I didn't know that. 
Crystal Lake is the big one. That's that's where he was, where he came from, where he drowned. Yeah. This I'm super. Here's excited. one. So this literally, we were waiting, we were importing some footage from uh, some other stuff, and we were uh, checking through YouTube, and I saw a trailer for the original live action video game Night Trap returning after 25 years, coming to yeah, PS4 right. and Xbox One, spring 2017. You know why I'm excited about this? Not just because fucking like Night Trap, but at the same time, uh, I I have been looking for a Sega CD. Which is not easy to find by you. I mean, it, it, it's not hard to find, but it's like a hundred bucks. And I'm like, I don't want to pay a hundred bucks for something I'm literally just trying to get for one game. Mm -hmm. And um, this was the, I guess, the equivalent of a killer app on the Sega CD. And I played it once. And I remember it was really weird, but kind of fun. So I'm super pumped that they're re-releasing this. The thing is, though, like... Is it a remake? Or are they using the original footage? Let me tell you. Yeah. Remember Night Trap, the interactive yes. movie video game, a.k.a. live action, developed by Digital Pictures from Sega slash Mega CD. Was it called the Mega CD in UK? Uh, in 1982? It's I back. I think the Sega CD was the Mega CD. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, that's it. right. Today, Kentucky-based developer Screaming Villains announced that it's bringing back the classic to PS4, Xbox One, 25 years later as Night Trap 25th anniversary. Night Trap is composed of over 90 minutes of full motion video, FMV, sequences. Yeah, you learned that. The plot centers around a group of young women who are targets of augurs, vampiric beings who yearn to take women's blood. I've actually never understood what this game is about. I've seen like the scenes from it and all that. I just see the ladies in the underwear. Mm. Um, in the game, the player must switch between various hidden cameras, activating traps that capture the augurs and prevent women from being harmed. As you may know, Night Trap is notorious for for the controversy around the game's mature content, which led it to its withdrawal from the market and contributed to the creation of the ESRB, which stands for Entertainment Software Rating Board. I learned that today, too. <laughs> Additionally, Screaming Villains has announced that it has teamed up with Limited Run Games for a physical PS4 version. Further details on the physical version were not shared. Ooh, I'm totally picking that up. So That's going to be a great great game to play uh, with a friend I so it sounds like the, just the original game just made for ps4 i'm not mad about it honestly it'd be nice if they could update it but then again you'd have to have everyone like literally act again. yeah so i don't know How unless they it. want to get new actors in i think if they clean up the the non-fmv portions of it uh it'll be cool yeah uh, hopefully they do that but I wonder if they do four by three or 16 by nine or how that's gonna work i don't know i don't know but it's uh it's <laughs> i'm surprisingly excited about that 40 bucks is it 40 bucks we, uh, it did not say. Forty no. bucks was. So that was uh, Friday. Uh, not Friday. Uh, Friday, Friday thirteen. So yep. that does not say cost here. Okay. Well, pri price is going to factor into this a little bit, I think. Yeah. Especially since it's a twenty-five year old game. But. Well, apparently um, I can't find the server, Tom. Can't find the server. I'm trying to find this. What server? I don't know. I'm trying to find this. This this thing. There it goes. Yay. Uh, so this has got me excited. I showed you this. Uh, Sonic Forces, classic Sonic gameplay. That's a hell of a sentence sonic forces classic sonic gameplay shown off in new videos and screenshots we That's just watched great. this video mm. um it's literally sonic the hedgehog it's sonic just, with a bit more 3d and a bit more depth effect it's like a two and a half two and a half D. feel yeah it's like the the, the did you ever play uh the new donkey kong games no. like uh jungle freeze it's kind of like that where like you have you can jump but well i don't know if you can do it in the game but it looks like you can jump from foreground to background right right uh, I don't know if Sonic lets you do that in the video. It just stays in the foreground, like but could. it looks like you could. Yeah. Um, it is set to be released on PS4, Xbox One, Nintendo Switch, and PC sometime this holiday. Oh, it's on the Switch. So yeah, Good. cool. Yeah. Uh, and nice there's a third character who is there's Sonic, modern Sonic, classic Sonic, and a third character yet to be revealed. Knuckles or tails or future Sonic because they have they have modern and classics. I need future yeah. future yeah. Sonic. But it looks literally just like a Sonic game. It looks great. Like uh, it's yeah, it's beautiful uh, rendering and the feel of it as well. When you watch the trailer, <clears throat> you can see the speed and everything in there. And I think uh, for old timey Sonic fans, it's pretty much everything you wanted. So, yes. Um, yeah, and it's also like they're sticking to like Green Hill Zone and stuff like mm -hmm. that. So it's kind so of. So I'm excited about that. So cool. yeah. as somebody who who I play a little bit of Sonic growing up because my baby, babysitter had it, but I'm not really. I was never a Sega kid. Hmm. I'm excited for this because I love Sonic. I got Sonic uh, on the Xbox 360 arcade or live arcade or whatever the hell it's called hmm. uh, back in the day, and I played the crap out of it. The partially, one, yeah. Well, nice. Sonic 1, 2, and 3. Nice. Uh, partially because they're safe states now. So, because that was Sonic not, 2 was always my favorite. Yeah. Well, um, Sonic 2 is the one that brought the spin in because mm -hmm. without the spin, I've really And it was really fun to play with a friend, too. Yeah. That's, well, I never it's played with had a friend. some of the better zones. I, I, I always hated the underwater, though. I can't deal with that even boom, to this boom, day. Boom, 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 boom. Can't deal with it. That's how it goes. 
But that's your news for this week. So uh, Battlefront, Sonic, Friday the 13th, Night Trap, a lot of old things coming back. I'm excited. Yeah, it's like Classic Fest this so. week. I'm excited by it. Yeah, cool. So let's move on to some Xbox sales. Xbox sales. Ain't no game, but they say welcome to the second level. 